people don't buy based on needs. They buy based upon wants and values. And when you understand what people's aspirations are, and you do those little touches, those common things uncommonly well, people remember that. And not only that, they tell everybody they know. You touched on it, but now we're going to go to customer service. Yeah. And you actually, you know, earlier in the show, you talked about how Four Seasons could charge double, and of course it's because of the experience, the service. Well, let's take um, a B2C category, let's say hotels. Okay. How would a hotel go about excelling at customer service? Well, I have, I have a good example because okay. um, I come to New York a lot. I come to... Um, uh, to the city eight to ten times uh, a year because a lot of our work is in the U.S. And I always stay at um, the same hotel. It's the Lexington Marriott. And, and the reason I stay is because of the manager. Her name is Irina. Mm -hmm. and um, She might she, be listening to the show. She has. I'm going to tell her to listen to the okay. show. That's a good <laughs> idea. I actually hadn't thought about that, but you asked. She does common things uncommonly well. Now, I, I've... I travel a lot, and so mm -hmm. I'm in Marriott's top group. That aside, though, I stay at a lot of Marriott's, and, and uh, the differentiation is in the human touch. So, Irina, when my wife and I arrived yesterday, there was a note in, in our room. There was a nice package. Special. Special. It was just some small, there's, there's always small touches. She knows I like a particular configuration of room. So when, when I stay there, I always get the same room, the same con not the same room, but the same configuration. It's those small things. She just does it so well. She makes a point of, when I'm coming, of greeting me or, mm -hmm. or having the staff tell her, we're in a relationship business. Right. Small businesses make a difference when they build relationships and they find ways of making a difference for people. I want to come back to the Four Seasons. Mm -hmm. Irina does a great job, and I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention what makes that experience at, at uh, the Lexington uh, Marriott um, so special. It's the people, and she's trained her staff to do the same thing. When we got out of the car, mm -hmm. the doorman said, it's nice to see you, Mr. Norm. Now, I don't think he remembers me, but he mm -hmm. was told I was coming, so... It's those touches, but let me talk about the Four Seasons as well because I think they do things so well. And I have a young client um, who has uh, a young children, and he was telling me that they went to a wedding uh, in Whistler, B.C., a, a friend, and they stayed at the Four Seasons in Whistler, and their daughter was two years old. And... When they travel, and they travel a lot, often when they get to the room, there's, the cribs wasn't there. You know? So then they have to call, right. and it's just a pain. Right. When you fly from Toronto, it's a five-hour flight. You're tired. When they arrived, not only was the crib in the room, but there was a robe for uh, right. my client and his wife and a robe for the two-year-old. She put yeah. that on. She was so proud. Cool. She wore that the whole time she was there. And he tells everybody about that. I have another client who went to the Four Seasons, um, again in Vancouver, interestingly enough, or in the, on the West Coast. He was in the Vancouver, and he liked a room overlooking uh, the, the, the harbor. Mm -hmm. And so when he got there, the, he had the, they had the room, they knew that. Mm -hmm. And he happened to be there for a few days, and he was working with a client in the morning, and then in the afternoon he was doing work in his room. And so he actually physically moved the desk and the chair over so he could look out the window. So he did that the first day. The second day, he came back. What, what was interesting was they, they, the, the table was always there. Okay. The next time he came to that hotel, when he checked in, when he went to his room, he had a room overlooking the harbor, and the desk and the That's chair unreal. were overlooking That's the window. That's unreal. That common things wow. uncommonly well. It's understanding what is important to people. We live in an aspirational economy. People don't buy based on needs. They buy based upon wants and values. And when you understand what people's aspirations are and you do those little touches, those common things uncommonly well, people remember that. And not only that, they tell everybody they know. 
I love the honor of interviewing C-level executives and sharing their great advice and perspective on Mind Your Business. I'd love to get your feedback. Post it in the comments below and subscribe. You'll never miss an edition of Mind Your Business. Mind Your Business.